Are you filming? Mm -hmm. You're going. How do I know you're going? It says record. Oh, all right, good. All right, so this is dihybrid crosses. Can you write this down? Yep, write this down. Of course you write this down. What do you think this is? Do you think this is just like fun time? No, you write things down, and you do it exactly like I say it. I like a very strict classroom. All right. Okay. All right. So what we're going to be crossing is tall plants and green and yellow plants. So I'm going to use big T for tall, little t for short, big G for green uh, pea pods, and little g for yellow. Now a lot of people always ask me why can't you um, use like a different letter there, like a Y for yellow. Well. Remember, this is the same trait. What's this trait here? Height. Height. What's this trait here? Uh -huh. Color. So we want to keep it the same. Okay? Birdies. Love it a glow. An hour. Hey, this is going to be on the internet. Don't yeah. make me too excited that you're out of here right now. All right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay. So we're going to cross big T. Uh, little t, big G, little g, times big T, little t, big G, little g. All right? Wait, wait. So it's okay. So I'm crossing. What kind of plant is this? So you take big T, tall, tall, and that's a tall green. green. And what kind of plant is this? Tall, 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 tall and green. Now, you used to do a pu big pun square. Those things always confuse me. So what, we're, what I'm going to teach you is the fork, okay, which makes it a lot easier. Okay, I think in my head, and I like, hopefully it makes sense, because you didn't like these, right? Is that right? Okay. I hated these. You hated these. I hated them too. Okay, but this will make it easier. Okay, all right, watch this, watch this. I'm taking just the T's together, and I'm going to make a little Punnett square for the T's. Big T, little T, big T, little T. And if you can, put this on, a, a, on, a, on the furthest right part of your paper. So, because what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to expand out like this. Okay, we're gonna expand out like this. So I got big T, big T, big T, little T, big T, little T, and little T, little T. So I've got one big T, big T. I'm gonna leave some space here. Two big T, little T, and leave some space, and one little T, little T. I'm gonna be forking out, okay? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing with the G's. Big G, little G, big G, little G. By the way, one time I, I decided I wanted to, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but on uh, the plane ride home from the Everglades one year, I decided I didn't like the way I wrote my G's. I used to just do it like this, and it looked too much like a six. So on that plane, I decided to start writing G's like that. Have you ever totally reinvented the way you write something? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Try it sometime. It's really hard, though. For the longest time, I'm like, <laughs> okay, all right, so big G, big G. What's that? What's that? Sounds like you're constipated. I, I, actually, it's funny you say that because I am. <laughs> I love cheese. And it gets in there and, you know, binds. All right, okay, so notice I've got one big G, big G, two big G, little G's, and one little G, little G, right? Okay, what am I going to do with those? I've got to take all of those and put them with these. But don't do this, don't do this, okay? This is not what you want to do. If you do this, you're doing it wrong, okay? All right, don't do this. One, big G, big G, two, big G, little G, and one, little G, little G. Why is that a bad idea? Yeah? Four count. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, and I'm, am I missing out on some pieces? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All of these should go with all of those. That's why this has the name fork. So I'm gonna take, watch this, fork, fork, fork. One, big G, big G. Two big G little G, one little G little G. I'm gonna do the same with this. One big G big G, two big G little G, one little G little G. Fork, fork, fork. Hold on a second. I don't answer questions in this class ever. I know. Just kidding. Okay, what's your question? Is this like the whisker plot thing we do in math? Um, I remember I we got in a fight once. So what's a whisker pot? Is that a whisker plot? Does it involve a cat? Yes. <laughs> no, it Do you bring? We had this conversation. 
<laughs> you don't bring a cat in, pull the whiskers, and, and plot them on a grass. No, never mind. I'm getting to go back to my house. Okay. Is this, could this be a whisker plot, though? Uh, no. Uh, uh, no. No. It's called, something it's called a box and whisker plot. Oh. All right, right. No, okay, all right. Let's never speak of math again. All right, so <laughs> now we're going to do some math. Okay, I'm going to take one <laughs> times one. It's one. And I'm going to say that's one big T, big T, big G, little G. Or big G, big G, I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm going to do a one times two is two big T, big T, big G, little G. One times one is one big T, big T, little G, little G. Two times one, keep, keep sticking with me here, big T, little T, big G, big G. Two times two is four. Big T, little t, big G, little g. Okay? Two times one is two. Big T, little t, little g, little g. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the evil eye. Okay. All right. I'll go. So one times one is one little t, little t, big G, big G. Okay, and look what I'm doing. Each time I'm just multiplying out. Sometimes when I'm doing these, I feel like Bob Ross. Do you ever like watch Bob it? Ross. Like Bob anytime Ross. you Bob feel Ross. bad about life, watch Bob Ross because he paints pictures. And he's like, let's paint a tree. Oh, isn't this nice? <laughs> Let's have a little tree. Oh, yeah. See that? See that? Now look how easy that is. Look at that tree. Oh, yes. Beautiful. And he's just so calm and nice. He's like, let's draw a mountain next to that tree. And another one. You can draw a third if you want. And now look at that. Some snow. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to take this one. And we're going to multiply it by this one. One times one is one, little t, little t, little g, little g. What, what time are we at there, Daniel? What's the sailing outside? I only have a limit on these. 15, 30. We didn't talk. We've been, we haven't been talking for 15 minutes. Well, we? that's what it says. Huh? That's what it says. Yeah. Well, I can split these up into two. Okay. Now, look at this. I've, I'm already done with my genotypes. Yeah. This is my genotype ratio right there. Remember when you did it in a big square? What did you have in the big square? You had to go and find all those different ones, right? Yeah. Do you remember this? Now it's done. The genotype ratio is 1 to 2 to 1 to 2 to 4 to 2 to 1 to 2 to 1. That's it. Now I can go through and, and ask myself, what, are, what do these guys look like? So let's figure that out, and I'm just going to put the PR up here, and let's determine it. What's this guy look like? What kind of plant is this? Tall green. Tall, tall green. So I'm going to take, I'm just going to put a tally mark there and a check mark there. One tall green. Tall green. Okay, one. What's this guy look like? Tall, tall, tall green. Tall green. So I got two more. Check. What's this guy look like? Tall green. Tall, tall green. Yellow. 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 One. Check. What's this one look like? Tall green. Tall green. So I got two more of those. One, two. What's this one look like? Tall green. Tall green. So I got four more. Check. What's this one look like? Tall yellow. Tall yellow. Two more of those pups. What's this one look like? Short green. Short green. One. What's this one look like? Short green. Short green. One, two. And what's this one look like? Short, 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 yellow. short yellow. So that's my genotype, <coughs> or, sorry, phenotype ratio. Nine to three to three to one. Yes, question. So like if you read Liz, you didn't get short yellow very often when you, okay. Yeah, if I breed a short yellow with a short yellow, what are all my kids going to be? Short yellow. Short, short yellow. If I breed this tall green with all tall, with another tall green, what's it going to be? Tall green. Tall, tall green. What is it? Evans. Who? Evans. Evans. Yeah. Should we let them use the microphone? No. 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 <laughs> okay, right. shut the